Monday, 16 September. As usual, critical price points first. So this is the weekly chart. We have the volume imbalance again, still the drawn liquidity, the equal highs on the daily chart, as you can see, as you will see, are also still the drawn liquidity. We have the yes, consequent encouragement of this wick. What is more important today is the weekly and first for value gap. The 25% range of that, that's a high, very high point of resistance. So let's drop into the daily chart. As you can see, the equal highs that I talked about, the daily, uh, the weekly volume imbalance. We have the weekly consequent encouragement wick. Then we have the 25% uh, of the weekly inverse for value gap. We take a look at this, we see the daily fair value gap, which also happens to be the previous day low, the midpoint of that, and we don't fill the daily fair value gap all the way. We leave a small proportion and fill, but it wasn't enough. Yeah. Then we have Friday, the low of Friday, 13th of August. Let's see what is in close correlation to that. The weekly consequent encouragement of that week. Once again, we have the 25% range, 25% range of that weekly and first effort value gap. Now we take a look at the four hour chart. We see we have a four hour order block where price stops. What is another cl close correlation to that is this wick. We divide it up in quadrants and we see the midpoint of that, which is also in very close correlation to the 25% range of the inverse effort value gap. We trade to the 75% of this wick and don't trade until um, the order block. We want to see that if we are bullish. We don't want to see that trade up to here. It can, but this is more bullish. So the 15 minute chart, this is where the day started. We have the new weak, weak opening gap. We take out south side, buy side here. We leave south side, we take out south side and we don't take out these equal highs anymore. We don't go higher. We are um, in here, you can see the previous day low, which also happened to be the fair value gap high, the consequent encouragement, the midpoint of the daily fair value gap, but what was more important, the new day opening gap of 28th of August. But what is more important? Yep, the 25% of the weekly inverse fair value gap. So obviously we take a trade here, we take a continuation trade here, we take a trade here, continuation trade here, which was um, in close, close correlation to the previous day low. We divide this up into quadrants. We see we trade up to the 25% range of that, not in the consequent encouragement of it, which is this, the previous day low. As you can see the midpoint of that, it gets respected. The body is respecting it, except for this right here, but that's fine. Now the entry model. This is the entry model explained as ICT did. Of course, I took the trade. Of course, I took the trade. No worry about that. No stress about that. None. So we take out the south side here. Um, this then becomes major south side. And up here, the relative equal highs, they become major buy side. South side keeps getting engaged. We leave equal highs here. The buy side here, and as you can see, the first inverse of value gap, the body's respecting that. I'll talk very much about this later on in price delivery. This is the second entry on the 15 minute order block, the continuation trade. We have the turtle soup, five minute fair value gap on the five minute chart. There's, that's not put into this. This is the 15 minute chart, by the way. This is the one minute chart. This is the reclaimed order block. And we take an entry in here. Then the third entry, we come back in the first inverse of value gap. This also was the previous day low. And um, we have a turtle soup again. We take the same entry logic as this, and we have relative equal highs in here. This doesn't form yet. So these highs and then this um, relative equal highs. There's other relative equal highs that I want 
uh, set remember this Dave so we drop into this as you can see we have the we have a decent range opening gap now these are the relative equal highs Dave uh, as the previous week we didn't really have decent range opening gaps so we couldn't really use that we divide them up in quadrants we see we don't even trade to the midpoint of that and we are trading lower in here so in here obviously we take the trade this is the, the other trade this is the next trade and this is the draw on liquidity so the first thing at 9 30 and 10 a.m at 10 30 till 11 that's where a trade is more specifically 10 50 to 10 11 it takes four minutes before we reach our first target five six seven eight nine ten minutes before we reach here so 10 minutes in the trade now let me break that down <coughs> so we have the the opening we have this fair value gap in here we draw that out into time we see that we don't trade back into this we leave that open then we trade this is the midpoint of it the body is almost um, respect that but they they color outside the lines a little bit so they go higher as you can see um, this is troubling price action we engage sell side in here a little bit more we have a liquidity void we go higher we drop higher we leave this and then uh, and then as you can see we uh, have time distortion we leave relative equal highs the Dave highs and then we draw down we take out this sell side we come into the uh, weekly fair value 25% range of that the 4 hour order block and the 25% of the 4 hour wick uh, the upper portion of that we have the 10.15 till 10 a.m we see here if we want to take out this sell side we needed to do that quickly we come in the order block um, we could have traded up in here but I was interested in longs today I wanted to see this go so I wasn't focused on shorts and as you can see we trade above this order block this now becomes a reclaimed order block price trades down into that then the third candle when price trades down to the opening price or the low of that candle plus one tick we enter long we enter long we take out this we take out this we leave a portion open and we get stopped out well where do you where do I leave a portion open I think if I entered on three contracts sell one here sell one here then stop loss would be here uh, below the 25% range below the I would look at the wick and the 25% of the four hour wick and I would put my stop loss just below the consequent encouragement of that four hour wick and then this trade we have a continuation we have um, back and forth price action I didn't want to engage in that it was the lunch and uh, you know so after lunch this is 1 30 1 30 p.m this is where we entered this is as you can see we trade into the 15 minute order block we have a five minute fair value gap we have this low we engage this low by with this then we engage it again um, we still want to take out the major buy side so we enter so we once again we focus on longs this is the order block right now in here it becomes reclaimed when price trades back into this one trades back into the low of this candle plus one tick that's where we enter we put our stop loss here we get stopped out but that's okay and then we enter long again um, on this with the same logic this becomes a reclaimed order block in here we enter long and we trade up why this is happening is because we have a liquidity void in here the bodies they don't um, touch each other so we have an a, a volume imbalance in here and we, we we got we would get stopped out then we have another trade look at the daily uh, for value gap high and the previous day low of 12 september this trade in specific we have the 50 minute for value gap we respect that with the bodies we go higher 
so let's drop into that this is 250 to 310 this is a uh, the red lines are by the way a one minute order block we have the buy side these relative equal highs here the major buy side liquidity pool we draw lower we come in here um, and then we go lower again we take this out we draw up we see this fair value gap this inverse of fair value gap and then when price trades at this price point again and we put our stop loss in here we will get stopped out but you know what i'm going to put my stop loss at the third candle not the second candle i said he said put your stop loss at the oh, put your stop loss at the second candle but you know what i'm going to put it at the third that's what i'm going to do so when a fair value gap forms i'm going to put my stop loss at the, the low of the third fair value gap so in here we come um we get lower again at the 550 310 so or i can wait i can wait for i i will i'll do that instead i'll wait for 250 310 and when the price is about to spool then um, this is the order block this is the order block excuse me this becomes a reclaimed order block in here we trade above that we leave a fair value gap in here we have an inverse of a value gap we don't trade into that we enter and we we go long stop loss would be here then the low of this fair value gap and then in here we would have um, gotten the trade that's a lot of minutes it's one two three four five six Fifty minutes. Fifty minutes we would be in this this trade, which is not very pleasant. But that's still a profitable trade. Thank you very much. Please leave a like and subscribe.